Hello, in this video I will simply show you how to get .NET 5 uh, templates uh, mainly for your Visual Studio. Okay, at the moment it's all in preview and there's no real way to get them in a proper Visual Studio. So you have to get Visual Studio 2019 preview. Okay, and in the preview you will be able to actually uh, find these uh, templates for .NET 5. Uh, it is a bit tricky as well, but basically what you need to have is Visual Studio Installer. If you already have Visual Studio, you just search for Visual Studio Installer, open that up, and as you can see I already have installed uh, uh, the preview. You can still keep your normal edition, regular edition, right? and then install a preview. And I would suggest working on the normal edition and then if you need to actually do something with .NET 5, you go into your preview, okay? It will be better that way. If you haven't had that installed yet, you go to available, okay? And you will be able to choose from one of these. And that's basically how it will work for you. Okay, so we have a Visual Studio or lots of these options and then you have previews and you can find the previews. Now I also want to show you how to actually find these templates. Okay, so we have uh, uh, the preview 2019 right here. Okay, it looks sort of the same, right? I have a white theme on this one and I'll show you why later. Okay, but we have this uh, create a new project, right? Create a new project, like that. Let's do that, create a new project. And uh, I will now show you how to actually find the .NET 5 thing, because uh, if, say, if say I would uh, type it in right here, I would not find it. So I need to go somewhere in here, say desktop, right? And I go through all of these options and I don't really see anything, okay? Now this one is WPF application for creating a .NET Core WPF application. But actually, this is where you will find your .NET 5 template. Okay, so let's do next, okay? And now you have uh, everything sort of prepared and you may think there's no place to choose that, but this is very similar to a web application or a Blazor app application where you create it or rather click next after uh, selecting all these settings and then you can actually choose the frameworks of the type, so whichever thing you need, okay? In this case, you choose the actual framework. So we have .NET Core 3.1 by default, okay? It actually says long-term support, out of support, which is, a, I believe, a nice addition to the whole thing. Okay, and then we have .NET 5 preview. So this is basically uh, how, you, how you find that whole thing, okay? Now, I have this preview as a white theme. So double, uh, Visual Studio uh, preview is a white theme. Now, my normal Visual Studio is a dark theme, okay? And I like to have it because it will be easier to differentiate both of those uh, uh, options. Because as you can see, it says Visual Studio uh, 2019. Okay, if we go back, go back and back and back, the preview also says 2019. It's exactly the same. So it can get a bit confusing and uh, you might run into some trouble if you don't differentiate them like that. Now, I understand getting used to it may be a little bit difficult, but it will probably save you some trouble if you just choose uh, different themes for these different uh, editions. Uh, now, I do hope uh, this was helpful. And with all that said, we will conclude this video.